Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I'm just sitting here in my road drinking my morning coffee, looking sexy as hell as usual. And for those of you who say I don't look sexy as hell in my robe when I do these videos, nobody cares what you think. I didn't ask you shit. I saw an interesting private message yesterday from a young man who wanted to know how fattening alcohol is because he's going to go out and drink last night. And with it being early Saturday morning, I'm sure a whole lot of you went out drinking last night. And probably a few of you are trying to watch this video with a hangover. So I'm going to put this in very simple terms. It isn't going to give anybody a worse headache. All right, a lot of people talk about alcohol being fattening because your body burns it first. Your body starts burning it and it starts storing everything else because the body will burn alcohol as its main fuel source while it's in your system. Now that is true, but that doesn't make it fattening. Just like your body burns carbs as its preferred fuel source when you're consuming them and it stores dietary fat. A couple things you need to remember. It's still about calories in, calories out. And people forget that your body gains and loses fat every day, whether you're cutting or bulking. Body is a dynamic metabolic organism. You actually have fat cells that over a course of any given second or minute have gained and lost fat both. All that matters is your net turnover for a 24 hour period or actually for a week. You can gain fat, a net fat gain one day a week and still lose fat the other six and still lose weight on the scale and body fat. Now remember, alcohol has about seven calories per gram, but here's where it gets tricky. It has a high thermic effect. The thermic effect is so high that we don't actually have it pinned down yet. So we don't know if the final net calories for alcohol are two calories per gram, six calories per gram, whatever. We're not actually sure yet, but it does have a very high thermic effect. And the main thing you need to look at, if you're worried about gaining fat, when you go out drinking, Keep your calories low that day. If you know you're going to go out drinking every Friday night, and some of you do, just consume fewer calories on Friday afternoon, Friday morning. When you're picking your drinks, don't go for the real high sugary drinks. Just drink liquor or drink mixed drinks with diet soda, whatever. And if you know you're going to drink on a bunch of beer, then leave your calories real low because beer has a lot of calories in it. And if you're going to drink 15 of them, you probably don't want to eat anything but some protein and veggies that day before you go out drinking unless you have the calories to work with. So there you have it guys. At the end of the day it's still about calories in, calories out. And that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative and I will talk to you next time.